Over the weekend, the community rallying in support of a reported Sugarland ISD sexual assault survivors. Our Rocio Villalobos brings us this story. Dozens marching in support of sexual assault survivors during a rally at Banworth Park, organized by Sherryland alumni who say the district has a history of covering up harassment and assault against its students. This comes after an alleged hazing incident involving students from the Sherryland Pioneer swim team dating back to November of last year, which has so far not resulted in any arrests or expulsions. Attendees speaking out in support of the victims and calling for the reprioritization of Shailan faculty's allegiance. If you work at a school, you're supposed to be there for the students, not for the administration. Organizers have also drafted a list of demands for Sherryland ISD, which they say are needed to right the district's wrongs. While at school, Roberta Garza's daughter was repeatedly attacked by another student. She says the school knew, but did nothing. We need to be united, the parents and Sherryland community. Don't wait until it happens to one of your children. For 14-year-old Gracia Magarejo, the district's inaction regarding the recent alleged sexual assault of a pioneer friend Freshman brings up memories of what she went through. In 2016, she was raped by a district employee, and despite reporting the molestation to teachers, administration, and even police, she says her rapist faced no consequences, leading her to switch schools. I couldn't take it anymore. I was seeing him in the hallways, in the classes. Even after I made my statement, they didn't do anything to him. He kept his job, he kept his reputation, and when he retired, they celebrated him. Although it's been difficult for her to relive the trauma, Magarejo hopes sharing her story will provide courage to other survivors. They could speak out and it could help. It could really heal because you're helping other people to voice themselves. The protesters say they will not stop fighting until they see change and their demands are met. Reporting admission for Local 23 News, Rocio Villalobos. Today, the school district has not commented on the alleged incidents. Among the demands are a public apology and acknowledgement, as well as sexual assault training. To view the rest of the list, head on over to our website. That's kveo.com.